Hello everybody, welcome back to another game Spotlight. This is The Dark Plague. Again created by Gurok and Cat Punter. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Anyway, it's an adventure game completed in Adventure Game Studio. Description is the following. You're a charlatan, trapped in a previous doctor's home while the townspeople outside are screaming for your blood. Make your find a way to escape before they end you. Created for MAGS January 2016. Now can I say I really dig those uh, plague masks? The bird looking ones. Um, from what I know, they used to be filled with herbs to apparently fend off the dark plague. Not sure if it actually worked or not, but anyway, uh, let's hit begin and see what we can end up with here. You're a charlatan, you came to this town to peddle your false beliefs and to fatten your coin purse. Instead, you find yourself trapped in the previous doctor's home. We must find a cure or a way to escape before they take your life. So that's point and click kind of thing. Oh. Okay. Well, movement's a bit janky, I guess. Uh, if you're really. Really? It's like right there. Okay, well. Oh, has to be this stool, huh? There you go. You know the stool across the floor, you can now reach the top shelf. Sweet. So, let's see what we have. An empty flask. We'll probably put some sort of medicine, I believe, in there, huh? There we go. We also have a dead cow. Some water. And I'm assuming we're gonna be able to go. Okay, apparently once you commit to an action, you can't really, uh... So, we have two options. Either we run or we find a cure. Probably don't want to go out the front door. There's nothing I can do with something this large. I can think of a few things you could do with that. Ah, uh, that's not why we're here, is it? Hope chest lock. How do we go to our inventory, though? I... No. Loft window. I assume that would be our means of escape. We also have a... Uh, a night bucket, or whatever that's called. There seems to be something under this pillow. Or not. Blanket. Yeah. Tie some blankets together, crawl out the front window. I'm pretty sure no one will notice. Then again, that could be the back window. Actually, looking at things, it should be the... window to the right of the front door. A lot of things turn yellow here, but not sure if we'll be able to interact with that. Pillars. Take the blankets. Carefully fold and take the blankets. It's another small key. Right. <coughs> kind of find it annoying that you always have to move closer to something, but. Yes, it makes sense and stuff like that, but. With movement not really being as quickly. Need to unlock it first. Maybe we still don't have a key for that. Can't escape with the window locked. Well, there's the lock. Do you not have a key? I really find it strange that there is no button for inventory. Maybe I missed it somewhere. I don't think I did, though. Can't escape with the window locked. Right-clicking, it does nothing, I think. Uh, how do we... Ah, here we go. Sift through the items, mostly sentimental, except for a bag of coins and scalpel. You quietly pocket both. Now can we open up the window? Should we open up the window? Fever. And fervor. Flask. Book of medicine. There's probably something of use in there, isn't that? Ah, whatever. 
see if you can uh, get some fresh air in here. Huh? But it's enough for you to unlock and unbar the window. The air feels cold. Alright. Let's go downstairs, see what we can cock up. Can we put the book on a table or something? I mean, if you have a book, I'm assuming I'm able to read it. Hmm. Let's see if we can use a flask with the water then. What are these? Bag of coins. We can bribe our way out. You think this is? Let's try this thing. Could be something to inspect or something. Ah, no, that's a. Uh, never mind. Um, spotlight. Okay, put the book back. Put it. Put it back. Put the. There we go. Um. Every. Medicine starts with a bottle of fresh raw water, right? So, nothing to do with this, something this large. So, gruesome as it sounds, can we slice it up? It's probably gonna take a while to dissect the cow with a scalpel, but. Ew. Scalpel is sharp and cuts deep, exposing cow's organs. Petrified, f putrefied flesh and blood sticks to your hands. Can we scoop some out? No, I don't think so either, but I want to put this thing back. Alright, so... Fever's... Getting up there. None of them look useful. Yeah, but you got a book that is useful. Ah, here we go. Just right-click it. Book of Medicine. Disease runs rampant among the rich and poor, the desirable and undesirable man and woman. One, probably women. One wilt conclude that a disease thrives in a domain outside of the church and the found in the flesh. Measures to stop the passing of infection will be taken. A doctor's a doctor might not be prepare a surgical table, cut swiftly, cover the corpse, and clean oneself afterwards. Self should be applied to open wounds. Apply to infected flesh a salve of wine, a matter of garlic, can full of onion, and bile from a cow will be carded, placed in a brass pot fermented for a fortnight. Ten year triacle may be used in lieu. Above all else, forget the teachings of thy God, for then use nothing but despair. God hath abandoned us, we will abandon. God. So, let's see if you can read that again. Uh, a salve of wine, a measure of garlic, a handful of onion, and a bile from a cow. But a bile from a cow we can already get. A handful of onion. I haven't seen the onions just yet. Placed in a brass pot. So I'm gonna assume we put the pot on the table? No. Oop. Hmm. You take the cow's bile duct. Okay. Okay, put that into the pot. I don't think that will work. Okay, um. Alright, so what else do we have? I'm assuming this is also a place we can go. Could be the pantry. Ooh, now this is looking a bit better. This wasn't your average doctor. Let's try not to slip on the blood though. It's also pretty loud in here. Book of Faith. You have no need for that. Pot full of murky liquids over a fire. Okay. 
see what we have here. Sack of... Ah, onions. Good. Mold the onions. I might be able to salvage one. Please do. You sift through the mold and rot to find a single usable onion. Alright, so what else do we need? What else is there? A salve of wine, yeah? A mazard of garlic. That's probably here. Yeah, garlic. Bought from a cow. Okay. Then we all have to mix it together, but what would we need the water for? Can you just not... You break off what few bulbs have not sprouted and rotted. Alright, so I think we've got all of our stuff, but... Let's see... Murky liquid over fire. So do we just chuck everything in there, then? Pour the carbile into the pot. Alright, so then the wine as well. And I believe the onion. And... There you go. And that should be our cure. Pot full of strangely sweet smelly pastes. Transfer the strange concoction into the bronze pot. And I believe that should be our cure, right? read that one. That's actually the Book of Fate, just to know. We don't have use for this though. One might not but look to God in such trying times, for he is good and just, but he ain't gonna hesitate to strike you down if you touch yourself in the night. Anyway. <clears throat> Sickness is a reflection of our sins, and we suffer for our lack of devotion. We might not but purge the unbelievers from our midst. The undesirable's move is on God's holy grounds, poisoning us with foul miasmas. They wilt be put to death, the bodies covered, and the herbs wilt be burned. They will atone for their crimes against God. A mixture of foul-smelling roots or herbs and spirits shall be carded and applied generously to every window to prevent the spread of miasma. The root of sickness is foul smells. Well, at least we opened up the window already. Pagan witchcraft and its practitioners might not but be eradicated and we wilt allow God's love into our hearts. Only then will our suffering end. Well, our fevers come down a bit. Not quite sure what we should be doing now, though. The townspeople have formed a mob around the front door. You fear what they might do if you have not found a cure to the plague. Are you sure you want to face them? Yes. You decide to face the mob of townspeople. You open the front door to face uh, the townspeople, clutching the cure in shaken hands. The townspeople begrudgingly spare your life. Shortly afterwards, you succumb to the plague. One can only hope you did not inevitably spread it. Hmm. So that went horribly then. Well, um... Apparently there are some more things you can do here, but I'm going to cut it here. So thank you guys for watching, hoping you're still in the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or something if you haven't already. Feel free to recommend any indie games you want me to have a look at. Um, this has been The Dark Plague. Links to this game will be in the video description. And I'll see you guys on the next indie game spotlight. Bye everyone.